2017, the little town where I was born and raised, Lynch, Kentucky, we celebrated our 100th year anniversary. They have been coal mined, deep mined in this area for 100 plus years. And so with all that deep mining, they have gotten all the cream of the crop, you know, the best coal they have gotten. It. Coal is a finite resource. It's gone. Coal is gone. They've got all the coal. It's gone. There's going to be a little bit of mining here and there and all that, but it's gone for all practical purposes. That's where we've been fighting, you know, to try to tell people that, man, this is the 21st century, you know, and, and, you know, we're burning our planet up, man. I don't want to get all into that scientific stuff and all that, you know, but, hey, man, it don't take a brain surgeon to figure out, man, what's happening, man. You know, all the weather's patterns are changing and all this stuff, and, and you go over to India and places like that, and you got little islands that are literally going underwater and everything. I mean, it's crazy. And something's going on with all this uh, CO2 stuff and everything, you know? This is where the union movement was started, right here in Harlan County. You know, we've got the reputation of bloody Harlan. Now, the coal industry is gone. It's not coming back. These companies kicked us to the wolves, you know? They just left. That's basically when all this strip mining and stuff really got started getting bad around here in, in Appalachia. There is not one, not one union miner in the state of Kentucky. Our union hall has been turned into a food bank. The creek that I grew up on, it runs orange with acid mine drainage. Acid mine drainage comes down on the right side and toxic mine drainage comes down on the left. So far, from Cumberland to the top of Black Mountain, we have been successful in stopping any strip mining. He was on his stuff, you know, talking about, oh, I'm going to bring back coal mining. Coal miners are going to work. The percentage that voted was way down. I mean, it's like maybe 20%, 18%, you know. It was, it was pitiful. What we're trying to do is get people out to vote, man, you know. The system is kind of yeah. set up for certain people. Yeah to not be able to vote as easily as other people. And then we have something called gerrymandering in this country where maps have been drawn as far as what the precincts are. You can draw those maps in a way that you're going to get a certain party's votes are going to count a whole lot more than the other parties. What we're trying to do is we call it a just transition. Our people, they worked in these mines and they supplied coal for, for World War I, World War II, all, even even the Vietnam War and everything. You know, we have we have saved this country as far as help, helping build the battleships and build the tanks and all this stuff and everything. Our men have lost their lives and stuff in the mines and all that. I mean, you know, it looks to me like we, we deserve a little payback. You know what I mean? Why not give us a little break now that we give all of our stuff in the past? How about helping our young people to help make a new future and a new industry here in Appalachia.